On our first day, we went to the Shinto Shrine. It was a very rewarding experience, actually. A lot of that influences heaps of the activities and the daily lives of the people here in uh, Itoshima. It was interesting just to see the history and the role faith plays in their everyday lives. Throughout my internship, um, much, much of the significance was about the cultural and historical um, context of Itoshima and Itoagri. So firstly we visited the shrines which is just around the corner from the cafe and restaurant which is extremely important to all the workers that, and employees that are employed here. And more so we actually learnt about the production procedure of where they fish all the inputs and where they farm it in the local areas and how they use it in the supply chain in nearby factories and how they transport it to and export it to Greater Japan in other areas. We visited some farms. We first went to an abandoned farm actually uh, that had, hadn't been used for three years and it really identified the problems uh, that they're facing here in Otoshima and just the potential that it holds. Uh, it is a got some great soil, it's got great potential uh, to produce in the future and I think uh, if they are able to uh, solve those problems and get people in there, uh, they really could, can thrive. We're also lucky enough to visit one of the local farmers. Uh, she is 90 years old, which is very impressive. Um, and we got to pull out some daikons. We got to farm some daikons. Uh, and it was very enjoyable, very insightful, seeing uh, what goes on behind the scenes and uh, just how those products get to our, get to our table. So the type of projects we did was understanding how the supply process and logistic process of the goods and how they're farmed in the local farms around Itoshima and understanding how they're transported to the restaurants and further exported to other regional parts of Japan. Um, as well as this, we're learning how to integrate the ingredients here such as mentaiko, citrus, garlic and miso and using that in how to input that into the Australian culture and cuisine back home. In Generally, um, what we had to do was to observe how um, the operations are for Yamasue and um, just see the culture of Japan. And then in the end of the um, internship, uh, we were asked to create a presentation detailing um, the different culture and how we can better integrate a relationship between Australia and Japan in the future. So we looked at relevant regulations including HACCP um, and also the possible issues that may arise in the future and how we can tackle them. So just giving them a broad idea of ways that they can enter the Australian market. So my presentation was about Intoshima's vegetables and its local produce. So we were supposed to make up a recipe with the sources Itoshima has created and then try to incorporate it between Australia and Japanese cuisine. We applied Itoshima's vegetables and their sources and incorporate it together to make a very balanced dish. My time in Itoshima has been amazing. Um, beautiful, beautiful countryside. I think it's a very great contrast to the city. Um, very scenic. People are amazing. The produce here are very, very good. Um, yeah, it's just an amazing time overall. Cultural shocks, obviously, because the language of J Japanese, they take so much pride in it and so much into they act with such integrity that is extremely important for foreigners to make an effort. In saying this, the Japanese are always very polite and kind in trying to always help you and understand your situation. Other cultural shocks was the rituals and customs, as I mentioned before, they have in eating, which is certain disparity between Japan and Australia. We, although we respect the history, we don't necessarily have as many historical and religious um, relationships with how we eat, and we don't use these in the customs before dining with our friends and family. Well, I have loved my time here in Japan and I think one of the things that makes it really unique are the people, uh, how careful and considerate they are. Everywhere I go really, I uh, get gifted with things and get off, uh, offered food, offered uh, hospitality and they really are so welcoming uh, wherever you go. Um, Meiji uh, internship was very helpful. Um, it's very hard here for foreigners to find a company to intern with and that's what Meiji internship did. Helped me find the right program, the right job. 
you know, it was extremely beneficial. Medi internships was very welcoming, very easy, uh, very smooth, the whole process of uh, getting placed into the internship, um, very good at communicating and I found them very easy to work with. I would really recommend students to be more open-minded, just become positive in everything you do. It's not going to be easy, it's not always fun, there are days where you're going to struggle, but just be open, just be positive, keep going. Just get used to saying the word yes and always be open-minded to experience and generally just show appreciation towards the Japanese culture with having, learning the language and being, making new friends, but most importantly just come to Japan. All the best, gambatta kurasai and enjoy your time in Japan.